Hello everyone. I'm back at Smithfield Market, and I'm happy to see that it's still here. But what for the future, what's over the horizon for this great architecture? These are the West Markets, a fantastic collection of Victorian buildings, a kaleidoscope of design and color. There is work going on here at last, and a lot of things are under cover. I hope some of my favorites are still intact. Under here hopefully should be the decagonal tower, a wonderful creation. It once had an amazing spire on top of it, must have looked tremendous. Otherwise I hope that some of these decorative constructions exist under the protective tarpaulin. What is rather sad is the way that these buildings have been left to rot. They've been derelict now for decades, abandoned and unloved. They were even signed off for demolition at one point. What a terrible life they have had for all these years. It is said that some of the west side has been saved, to possibly be converted into a museum. It sounds positive, but I don't really approve of the visualizations. I fear these conversions. Is it worse than demolition? I worry that the west market will be overwhelmed, having its detail cut back to a minimum. These buildings need to be respected, and not just a backdrop to an attraction. This might be the last chance to see the place as it really is. Another thing is the smell. There's been a meat market here for around 1000 years, and the aroma has fused into everything. Not too conducive to museum activities, I'm sure. One is floored by the stench of blood and carcass everywhere. And this gets worse the more east that you go. The East Smithfield meat market is still active. How will they keep the public from being downwind on a hot summer's day? Thankfully, the East Market is moving on, but maybe not before the museum opens. This surely is a prohibitive factor that might not be mentioned in the blueprints. So what's happening with the East Smithfield? Please accompany me in my investigations as I plow on eastwards. Smithfield East Markets, still a busy enterprise, but is reported to be moving out of the area in several years' time. This creates another problem, how about all the old architecture that will be left behind? The glorious towers, the picturesque ironwork. Will they now suffer the same fate as the west side? Kicked around for the highest bidder. This is a beautiful and powerful structure that was built to last forever. But you can assume that another demolition would be a more favorable option for the developers. Or worse, a sad facade filled with trendy retail outlets and restaurants. Another Covent Garden type conversion. Once again this could be the last few years in which to view the East Market in all its proper glory. What I would like to see is a lovely old London building sympathetically restored with its interiors lovingly preserved and intact, just like a monument. The place would be maintained and people could visit, and admire. That the only way to treat a magnificent creation like this. It could even be a monument dedicated to the poor animals that for many centuries were slaughtered here, ending their sad young lives long before their time. A monument to the creatures that were cut up or killed so that humans could actually eat them. A monument to man's progress, beyond the savage practice of butchery. 